Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Layla. I ain't got no sense and this channel is all about bags and planners. So if that's your thing, you should consider subscribing. To all my subbies, hey y'all. I know I've been MIA, however, we had a family vacation planned and lots of stuff came up before and after. Then my aunt came in town to visit, just just busy y'all just <laughs> just busy no time to film but i'm gonna go ahead and try to get this one in so i can keep y'all watching videos and keep y'all happy and keep you guys getting stuff out there so this is my new boo my birthday is next week so this is my new boo if you watched my last i think playing with me video i did mention that i was considering getting the palm springs mini i did decide to pull that trigger and get her and she was bay while we were on vacation so this is her in all her glory i did get mine in the reverse print i did want to try a reverse print item i thought it was super super cute i love 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 how it came out this strap is actually from amazon i knew before i purchased her that i would not be using those tiny ass straps that come with that i'm not a backpack person um y'all y'all know i ain't got no sense i am one of those weird people that i'm sorry i'm not about to put my purse behind me like the concept of that just does not work for me if it's a true book bag if it's for school it's got books in it binders you know the larger size a regular book bag whatever i'm on board with that but a purse I'm sorry. I'm not putting that shit behind me. I'm I'm just not. And if you're not new here, y'all know how I am. I'm not big on crossbodies. That's just not my thing. It makes my breasts look like they are a size just way larger than they already are. They're already large. But anyway, y'all know I got no sense. So anywho, I did get the Palm Springs Mini. This is the smallest version of the Louis Vuitton, um, you know, backpack purses, but I do not wear mine as a backpack. If you're not familiar with the bag, it does have the um, four D rings so that you can wear it as a backpack. And there's different ways that you can attach the two straps that come with it to make it, you know, a cross body or across the front of your body, across the back of your body, a true book bag, what have you. I purchased this strap off Amazon. I think it was like $13. It's just a genuine leather strap. It's extremely soft and pliable. It is pebbled leather. Um, and I knew I wanted to wear mine basically as a shoulder bag, but kind of short. So if you can look here, the strap is not very long. I kind of just wanted to wear mine as a shoulder bag, which I do. There's a picture of me wearing it on Instagram. Um, we were at the um, one of the places on our vacation doing um, paintball and go-karts and stuff, and I was wearing it. So that's how I wear mine. And then I love carrying it as a handle bag as well. So I switch between the strap and the handle when I'm carrying mine. But anywho, let's get into it. So this is what's in my bag. This front pocket is like just useless it, it really is i thought people were making it up saying that you couldn't get in a zipper you really can't i tried putting extra cards in here and it just it's hell to get it out let's just say it's hell the zipper really hurt my hand um as usual i always keep a key clay um to kind of match the bag on the outside and in here i just keep my hand sanitizer and i am filming this on my phone i wanted to try something different um so we see how it goes <laughs> so in here i just keep my hand sanitizer from bath and body works i think this one is the sunshine mimosa yep sunshine mimosa love how this one smells if y'all can see this thing is like almost empty like gone <laughs> this is like my bay i did buy quite a few of them um if you're new here this is a bow that i got off etsy quite some years back when i got my very first louis vuitton bags unfortunately it doesn't um appear to be available anymore um i don't even find the seller i don't know if maybe it was removed but this is um repurposed um authentic canvas it's not um what's the word i'm looking for a replica or fake it's like authentic bow and it's just a double bow with a little tiny um clip and i just clipped it onto the zipper just so it just you know could have some kind of charm so inside of here i have all of my goodies so i have my mask i have my six key holder from louis vuitton with my hot stamp sb on the inside i love it so much you guys and it still smells so so new here then I have my other key clay. This is the um, Damier Bean one. And so I've been using this as a wallet. So in here, and I do want to get the reverse card holder. Um, I think it'd be ideal. I don't normally carry cash or coins if you're new here, but I do have some coins and I gave my son my few good dollars that I did have in here. Um, but I do want to get the reverse card holder so we shall see how that shakes out. So in here, I just have my cards. Um, I have a couple of my just... I'm not running a business, but a couple of my cars showing that I'm a YouTuber and on Instagram just for, you know, if I have a purse conversation or a planner conversation with someone um, in public. And then I just have, like I said, a couple of coins in here. Gave my son the last few dollars I did have. And then I also have lotion. So got tiny lotion. This one's also sunshine mimosa. If you have not smelled it, you need to get to Bath and Body Works and smell it. It smells amazing. 
Then I have my AirPods. There's no um, D-ring in here to like clip these to, and I thought clipping it to the outside would be kind of tacky. So anywho, just keep those in there. Then I have my favorite chapstick, the Vaseline Lip Therapy. I've got a lip gloss that I put on when I'm going to like a friend's house. As you can see, it's almost gone. If you guys have not tried the Juvia's Place lip gloss, you really have to. This one is called So Glazed, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see here. Yeah, so glazed. It is like a really cute, almost like a shimmery cotton candy with like a pink tint to it. It's bomb. It's so bomb. So if you're going somewhere, you know, like to your friend's house or whatever, your mom's house, family's house, and you don't have to like wear a mask, it's a really good gloss to wear. I got my Icebreakers Mint, which is kind of skimpy, so I'll have to replace that soon. Then I have one pin. I have a Pen Gems pin, and I know I just pulled that out without it being in a pouch, and you guys are probably like, <gasps> Oh my God, but <laughs> pin gems are the ones that you have to twist for it to come out. So I'm not concerned with it leaking or anything. I also keep one like this in like my Neverfull pouch and in like my Graceful and RT, the inner pouch, the zipper. I keep one pin in there loose just in case I need to pull out right with it. And that's why I keep this one because it is a twist and it's not like a click. So I don't have to worry about it, um, you know, inking or spilling or anything like that in the bag. Then I have a pack of tissues. I have breath strips i love using those or the mints especially right before putting on your mask because you don't know you don't want to be smelling icky icky i do have one <laughs> receipt in here um because i do have a return i need to do then i have my other key clay this one is the damier azur i do have the trifecta of the key clays and in here i just have my extra cards the ones that i normally keep like in my rosalie coin purse um all the extra like um credit and debit and like business cards and health insurance cards all the ones that i normally keep either in my rosalie coin purse or in the side of my victorine wallet in the zipper if you're not new here you know what i'm talking about but in that side zipper where i keep like all my medical cards that's where i have all of these in here just in case i needed them i didn't want to be out the house and completely not have them um i wish they had like a victorine wallet in reverse or a rosalie coin purse or even something more you know compact um but they don't so I have a hair tie in here, but I won't be needing it. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you may or may not have been able to tell. In my most recent post of myself, I cut off all my hair. Capital A-L-L, -L, all of it. I have been long my entire life and I really just, I wanted to change. I wanted to change. I had been thinking about it for about a month and I just decided to do it. And what better time to do it than the summer? I have less hair to worry about and wash and flat iron and condition after going swimming and having fun with the kids. So I literally cut it all off. I got a pixie cut. Um, I have very um, like curly hair, like naturally curly hair. Like I can wet and go at any given moment. So that's one another one of the reasons why I cut it because I knew it would be low maintenance for me because I literally can just wash it <laughs> throw in some coils or curls type of you know quenching hair products and go so anyway um i'll be sure to post more photos as well as do like you know more videos um including myself in the video but I'm tired today, y'all. I feel like being on camera. But anyway, this is my uh, mini pochette in the monogram. She is fully stuffed, and I am not one of those people that's super OCD about not using my things or not filling them to the brim. This is... um what year what are we in 2021 so is this this is 2019 animation i have to remember what year it came out this is the one that came out with the animation collection for 2019 um for christmas with that gorgeous blue tab and the blue water and then of course the inside is blue which i absolutely love like i had to have this one so i had the original monogram one that just has the vaqueta tab and when i got a hold of this one i did sell that one so in here's just my basics i was able to use this as a catch-all so i have the things i cannot go anywhere without which is my rewetting drops for my contacts i have a tiny hairbrush which i won't have to use as much <laughs> but i still have it in here because i can still lay down my edges and stuff if i need to if they get out of control i have a scrunchie on here this was just in case it rained and i needed to throw my hair up in a ponytail so i would probably remove that i hadn't gone through here since i cut my hair a week ago i literally cut it last saturday um then i have my tiny comb slash brush in here in case i need to get some stuff controlled i have my tiny mirror i don't want to blind anybody but it's the tiny mirror that you could put it back on the up your like cell phone or whatever it's designed to go on the back of like your phone or whatever i got it from hobby lobby i saw it in someone else's um youtube video and i loved how sleek and compact it was and so i bought it so i could slip it into things i never had the intent to put it on my um my phone so i have that in here since i can't fit my big mirror i have a tiny nail file in case i need to file a corner i have a tie to go pin let's talk about this okay i learned about this pin 
through watching other people's what's in my bag videos. I, I, I never even paid this any attention in the store until I was watching other people's what's in my bags. And y'all, if you're not new, y'all know I'm addicted to those videos. If you are new, I'm addicted to those videos. <laughs> so I like to create them when I'm carrying different bags because I don't know if y'all are like me, but I like to see people go through their bags when they're carrying the specific bag that I like, that I love, that I'm carrying or that I'm thinking about buying. And I'm so OCD anal. I even want it to be in the color that I want. Like when I was going to purchase this one before purchasing it, I only watched what's in my bags and reviews of the reverse. I know it's really the same if I watch the mono, but I'm that OCD. So anyway, if there's a specific bag that you have or a bag that you're thinking about getting um, and you want me to do a review or you want me to um, show what's in my bag, in that specific canvas please comment down below please let me know or feel free to dm me on instagram same handle at just one sb and i'd be happy to do so but this pin um i don't know if i didn't do it right if i'm not wearing the right kind of cotton this thing doesn't work okay this this does not work for me me my aunt my mom and my daughter had american deli wings today and unfortunately the specific one we went to they're not having you know sit down dining in and we were out doing girls day shopping so we were starving we wanted to sit down take a break and eat um and you know we were comfortable doing that so long story short they didn't have that option so we just decided to eat in the car before we get to the next you know destination so we ate in the car you know in the parking lot or whatever and i oops dropped some of my lemon pepper sauce onto the shirt that i'm wearing which is white but it has like you know a picture or whatever on it but anyway long story short i followed the directions as they state to do it and i put it on my actual shirt and i mean i'm not gonna lie it did lighten it a lot but it's definitely still there but i see people in their videos ranting and raving about how they use this at lunch at work and and it gets rid of it all and they can't even tell they dropped the spill I don't, I don't know what's going on with theirs is mine expired like somebody let me know why mine didn't work i don't know anyway so this is a bag holder um i keep this in here just all the time in case i need to actually hang my bag because i don't like to set my bags on the floor especially in public um if i'm at like my sister's house and my mom's house i already know that floor is speaking span i don't mind but if i'm out in public or somewhere new i'm no we need a whole chair for the bag or we're going to use this to hang our bags. So if you're new here or if you've never seen one of these, let me open it for you. It's basically a bag holder. So you'd place this on the table or the counter or the edge of the coffee table, whatever. And then you put the bag right here. It can hold any kind of bag right here and extremely heavy bags. I pack my artsy and my on the go and my never folds to the brim and it holds all of them just fine. No problem. So I have that in there. And then I have just a little perfume spray in case I want to spray myself or spray a bathroom I'm going into. Then I have extra pair of contacts just in case the worst happens. Well, that's not a pair. That's just one. <laughs> so here's the other one. And then I have some more brush strips. I love those things. They're absolutely amazing. They are so, so bomb. And I'm so glad that um, the Walmart uh, brand or Walmart itself created one after Listerine created the original one because these are so bomb. I love them. I have a nail glue. I am wearing press-on nails. If you're new here, I have to type a lot for work and I need my nails short. I cannot type in these claws, but I felt restricted not being able to wear such gorgeous nails and longer lengths on the weekend. So I did decide to stop wearing my gel polish and start wearing press on nails so that I can put them on when I'm on off work for the weekend and then when I get ready to go to work I just cut them short rock them for that week and type all week with no problem with the same color or pattern or design and then at the end of the week I soak these off give myself a little manicure and start the process all over again I think I'm on week four or five of doing it and it is like the best thing since sliced bread I wish I decided or thought about doing this idea a while ago because it is i freaking love it so freaking love it anyway these are my tweezers just in case i see um a hair in my eyebrow or um you know anything that i want to pluck or pull out and then it does have the little comb on the end i did find this in my local dollar tree a while back i don't know if it's available um still or in yours but of course i was so happy to find it as well as enjoying the fact that it's purple y'all know purple is my favorite color all right so that is my mini pochette all empty and i'm trying to get it where you guys can see that gorgeous blue it's so pretty like this so so pretty so that is empty and so the bag is completely empty the only other thing in here um if you're familiar with the palm springs mini it does have this um little slip pocket in the back and you guys i was so fucking excited i'm so excited this shit is made in france like when i tell you i am blessed and got lucky it is made in france so in the back pocket i just keep my infamous panty liners and then my famous um summer's eve wipe i'm going to talk about that just a little bit just in case you're new here if you do not have a process 
of how you clean up on the go um, if you're on your cycle or if you need to, you know, take the browns to the Super Bowl. You need to try these, sis. You need to try these. Summer's Eve came out with body washes as well as wipes quite a few years back. However, these on-the-go travel wipes and in the sensitive scent is the best thing since sliced bread. Let me see on here. Um, I thought it said it somewhere else, but outside of just right here, if you look at the different boxes and the packages and the bottles, they have different colors and they have different um, scents or fragrances. So you have to be careful. There's one called, I think, Island Splash, and it's this similar shade of pink. You have to be careful, especially if you have a sensitive hot pocket like I do. I just can't be putting perfumes and dyes and using any laundry detergent. Hell, my husband can't even use any body wash he wants. He is strictly allowed to use one and that's it or there will be no fun for him like <laughs> my hot pocket is not a happy camper but these wipes are so bomb this is the actual sensitive one i only use the sensitive you can use this for the front you can use this for the back and it's very moist it's very wet and it actually has like similar to like the actual body wash it has like some of the soap itself in here so it's not just like a wet wipe it's like legit a soapy wipe it is so bomb y'all so bomb if you have not tried these i promise you you will not regret it you can get the regular pull pack similar to like babies um like wipes for changing diapers and stuff where you pull it out of the center, you can buy the pull pack. I want to say it's $3 or you can buy the box of these, which I want to say it comes 16 to the box. Um, and it's like $2. I think it's like $1.97 at Walmart. It's also available on Amazon. Um, so definitely check them out. But I promise you, you will love these. You will thank me. You will never go back to only using tissue, either regular days or on your period days. So definitely got to try these. But that is the only thing that I had in that back pocket is just one of those and some liners and that's it y'all the bag is completely empty i'm trying to show you in the light it is completely empty so this is my new best friend i have carried her non-stop since i got her i absolutely love her she packs a serious punch that was one of the reasons i want her because she is so little but yet she can carry so many things in here and i can still like you know dress her up with a you know a key um clay and still get my sanitizer because y'all know i like mine on the outside i don't want to be digging through here looking for it with nasty covid hands that's just not gonna work for me so i love mine on the outside of all my bags i would love it if Louis would come out with a reverse of quite a few things. I want them to come out with a reverse of the key clay. I want them to come out with the reverse of the Victorine wallet. Um, hell, if they could come out with a six key holder, that would be sexy. I probably wouldn't get it because this emprunt leather is everything, but I would still love to see it and consider getting it. So... <laughs> Hopefully they do. If they don't, you know, it's okay. I can't make them do what they don't want to do. But these are all my goodies. This is everything that I was able to fit in my Palm Springs Mini. If you have one or if you're thinking about getting one, um, I hope this video was helpful. I hope it helped you um, make your decision or decide how you can pack yours or how many things you can fit in here or what types of things to put in here. Of course, you don't always have to have Louis items that go in your Louis bag, but I am a Louis addict. So if you are new here and you're a Louis addict, you definitely should go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell and become a part of the SB fam. So thank y'all so much for watching my video. I will see you guys in the next one. And to all of my stubbies who have missed me and were highly upset I did not post the video last week, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like I said, we were on vacay. It was a lot going on. It was a lot to do. And it just didn't shake out the way that I thought it was going to shake out the days that I had planned to actually film a video to upload for you guys. So I'm sorry. Please don't leave the SB fam. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.